Hi, my name is Mike Milham. I'm the 5G technical architect at Keysight Technologies. We're at Mobile World Congress 2017 introducing some work we're doing for testing phased array antennas. We have a demonstration featuring antennas from two of our development partners, University of California in San Diego and Anoki Wave in Ball Aerospace. The primary application for these antennas is going to be used for fixed point wireless. So we'll see that we'll have uh, 28 gigahertz antennas going uh, from the street side into the home, bringing in high speed internet into the houses. Uh, this is a, a cost effective way of delivering a capability that might previously have been delivered by fiber to the home. The advancements that have been made in the semiconductor and manufacturing technologies uh, will allow this type of antenna array to be produced cost effectively and our job as a test vendor is to make sure that these can be tested in an appropriate manner with an appropriate cost of test and that's what we're working on here with these vendors. So let's go ahead and take a look at the demonstration. So what we're doing is we're using our uh, industry leading demodulation software, uh, 89600 VSA software, and we're combining that with the uh, antenna arrays to give us a combination of wideband modulation measurements and antenna characteristics. So the hardware setup we have, we're generating an IF signal with uh, one of our arbitrary waveform generators. We're up converting that to 28 gigahertz that's going to the input of our transmit antenna. As we go through a sweep of tests, we're sweeping the, uh, the transmit antenna from minus 45 to plus 45 degrees in azimuth. And as we sweep that, every time we move it, we're electronically tuning the antenna back towards our receiver. Our receiver we have pointing off at a different angle, but because it's a, uh, also electronically steered array, we actually have it pointing back at the, at the transmit antenna. The output of our receive antenna is going back into our down converter and is being down converted to our IF, which is being measured on the oscilloscope where we're using the 89600 software. So some of the parameters that we would look, like is, look at is we can see the modulation quality and the power at each of these measurements. And we can also get a view of what that looks like over the entire range. So with, at Keysight, what we're really doing is trying to optimize the cost of tests for this type of assembly to make it really cost effective for the consumers. Thank you for listening.